Hi, just a quick video updating uh, the Roden Schwartz RTB2004 oscilloscope here because uh, they've come out with some new version 3 firmware. Um, I've been running version 2.4 on this, I think it is, and uh, they've added some new features seven years later, which is, uh, you know, excellent um, support for their older model. Now, technically, they don't sell the RTB2000 uh, series anymore. Um, it's been renamed the RTB2 series and this firmware is supposed to be for the RTB2 series but it's compatible, backward compatible with the RTB2004. Uh, I'm not sure what hardware differences there are between the uh, RTB2 and the 2000, probably None. I mean, I think they've changed the uh, front panel to be like a black, you know, so the look, and, the look is slightly different, but uh, I, it's probably an identical um, scope, maybe with some hardware tweaks or uh, something like that. But the good news is the firmware is supposed to be backward compatible. So I've downloaded the RTB2 firmware, the latest version 3. Unfortunately, yes, you've got to log in and have an like account or whatever, but uh, they all do that. Um, they've added a couple of new uh, features apparently. Uh, one is uh, a couple more uh, trigger modes. I believe they've added runt and uh, rise time, something like that, uh, trigger mode. So yeah, we'll uh, check that out in a minute after we do it. And I think uh, measurement as well. Um, they've added uh, gated measurement, which is cool. So no, uh, yeah, I presume we'll be able to have gated measurement. And I think uh, eight measurements instead of six. Um, at the moment, we're running some measurements down here. You know, we can turn on stats and stuff like that. But you can have more measurements, uh, more better, uh, apparently. So uh, let's go in and try and update the firmware on this thing. So yeah, um, hats off for supporting um, technically a previous generation of uh, product which they don't um, technically sell anymore according to the model number even if it is the same. Uh, where is it? Setup, uh, firmware update, there it is. Um, insert the RTB2004, it's called 2004 presumably for this backward uh, compatibility. So uh, yeah, so I'm running what well, version 2.4 there. Uh, that was released in uh, 2021. Um, so this is, yeah, a seven-year-old uh, scope. So they keep adding new stuff, which is really cool. I like that. So let's plug it in. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that was, it like, that was beautiful. Oh, brings a tear to the eye. Look at that. It just popped up. I didn't have to select it from a bloody file list or any crap like that. That's winner, winner, chicken dinner. I really like that. Look, it's even put it in green. Nice touch. So, yeah, here's the latest uh, version, version 3. So... Yeah, let's do that. Um, open source acknowledgement, because it's got some open source stuff in it, I guess. So let's let's execute that and see what happens. Load in, it'll load, it'll dump the image internally and then it'll burn it um, internally, I believe. So yeah, so we've got to, but that's loading pretty quick. Let's see how long it takes. Still a very nice scope. This is a 10-bit ADC inside this thing. I know everyone's moved to 12 bits now, but when this came out seven years ago, this was a revolution. The bang per buck in this thing was absolutely incredible. And a lot of EV vlog uh, viewers scored like a massive, like half price deal when this thing came out. I think they had like 500 units or something like that. And they did some ridiculously good deal. Like they bundled everything in and it was like half price. So a lot of um, <laughs> a lot of uh, YouTubers and, and uh, EV vlog viewers actually snapped up the uh, RTB 2004 or the 2002, which is the uh, two channel jobby. So there you go, successfully updated. Beautiful winner, winner, chicken. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, is that new? That it scrolled off like that? I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's have a look. Uh, see if we got anything different in. And sure enough, we've got a use gate right there. So there are different uh, measurements. Yeah, so we can use gate in there. So excellent, we have gated measurement now. Fantastic, we can turn on our, there's, there's the gate period in there. So if we switch off the gate like that, boom. Can we just, can we move the gate? Yes, we can, look at that. Ah, oh, fantastic, winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
That's very intuitive. I like that. That's fantastic. So if you don't know about gated measurement, um, a pretty valuable thing. I'd rather have gated measurement than, uh, you know, some other, uh, you know, runt trigger or something like that. Um, a gated measurement means that the measurements aren't taken over the, either the full screen or the full waveform, uh, like the full memory. Uh, capture, they're taken over just that window. So if you've got a complex waveform on the screen and you, uh, and you want just your measurements down here, your automated measurements, which can be any of these things, then uh, it will only calculate those um, inside the window that you define like that. So if you've got, you know, your waveform doing weird stuff out here that you don't want to, um, that to affect your mean measurement or something like that, then uh, yeah, you can set the gated window. Very nice. I like that. So let's go into trigger, trigger, trigger dinner up here and uh, trigger type edge uh, timeout. Yes, runt and rise time. There you go. Yes. So as advertised, they have added these features. That's pretty cool. Thumbs up to Roden Schwartz for, uh, and, and especially making it backward compatible to the RTB 2004. They didn't have to do that, but uh, yeah, that's they were thinking about the customers when they were doing that. That's fantastic. Anyway, catch you next time.